What's up, Holly Wire? What's going on? It's Jake Miller. But you can take your time, cause I wait for you. No matter how What up, Holly Wire? It's your boy Drew, and we are in studio with superstar Jake Miller. Oh, what up? Welcome to you? the studio. What up, Holly Wire? We are going to play the six second challenge with superstar Jake Miller. Okay, six seconds on the clock. Are we ready? And name your three favorite cereals. Oh, Lucky Charms, uh, O's, and Cocoa Krispies. Ooh, just in time. Oats? O's. O's. Okay. They're very rare. If right. you know, you know. Oh, oh, oh. I guess. I guess I'm not on the end now. Okay, and the second one. Name three of the douchiest cars to drive. Oh, man. My car is a little douchey, I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, what is it? Uh, I have a BMW i8. Ooh, the that's doors so go up. It's futuristic. Um, Lamborghini and Ferrari, I don't know. Lamborghini and Ferrari, all right. Okay, uh, name three celebrity crushes. Selena Gomez, Blake Lively, Jennifer Aniston. I mean, that was less than a second per answer. I know Somebody I came like. prepared, somebody <laughs> came prepared. <laughs> okay, name your three favorite childhood cartoons. SpongeBob, Rocket Power, Doug. Ooh, Doug, funny for the win. You're four for four, bro. What are your three worst habits? Oh man, um, it was biting my nails, but I stopped. Uh, I don't work out my legs. And ah, leg day is tough. Speaking of leg day, we know you're a super fitness guy. Yeah. So last question: Name your three favorite cities to tour in. Los Angeles. Miami, New York. Ooh. Very good. LA, Miami, New York. Dope, you did it. You got all of them. Good job. Minus one. I will wait for you. I will wait for you. I will wait for you. I start to run out of patience when I start pitching you naked. No lie. No lie. You're sleeping alone, but I'm jealous. Space in my bed is your size. Your size. I think you could use someone like me. But you it's so crazy. You your first like live performance was on stage opening for Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> so you go from making funny, yeah. kind of like caricature type uh, rap videos about people in your school, teachers and stuff like that. Yeah. And then at some point, people start telling you, wow, you're really good. And so you have that change. Yeah. And then before you know it, you're opening for Stoop Dog. Yeah, it was crazy. And you're scared to step on stage. Yeah, I had my whole high school come out. I have flyers in every hall of the school. Um, it was like the second half of my senior year. So everybody was, you know, getting ready to go off to college. I still wasn't 100% sure whether I wanted to pursue music or go to college. So I was still in the process of applying to all these schools while I was, you know, while I was promoting this Snoop Dogg show. It was like the biggest thing that's ever happened to me. So, um, you know, I had everybody come out. I was so scared i did like two minutes three minutes on stage i was like one of nine openers never even met snoop dogg i had school the next morning i had a test he went on at like three in the morning i went on at like 9 p.m so i had to go but i was just a high school kid i didn't know what the hell happened i got off stage i'm like that was amazing here's the best part your dad who you know was like go to college don't you know maybe you probably won't get a deal it's very unlikely and then a deal comes your your dad says nope don't sign it oh yeah no my my, my family was they they needed like that reassurance from the people in the industry who were showing like passion they were like oh this is really cool but hold on maybe if we hold out we'll get a perfect deal and so that's what we did we we met with like almost every label the year that i graduated high school and i didn't take any deals they were all giving me pretty shitty deals they're all like development deals and just a few bucks to get in the studio and make some songs and i wasn't trying to do that i wasn't trying to sign it and then you just decided hey you know what to do this properly, to do this how I want it, I'm just gonna have to learn how to do everything other than yeah. everything I'm doing already. Yeah, pretty much. Um, when I was signed to Warner, they would book me you know, studio sessions every day, and so I would just get the address in my email, I would drive to the studio, I would do, you know, have sessions with all these producers and writers, and it was million dollar studios, and you know, hourly rates. So it was a lot of pressure in these studios because there was like a lot of people there working, you know, with me. And sometimes, you know, I I wasn't connecting with the music because it wasn't all coming from me. It was coming from all the other people in the room. And it was just a lot of pressure. So after a certain amount of time, you know, me and Warner Brothers split, we didn't, we saw, we saw different visions. And I wanted to make all my own music, write my own stuff, produce my own stuff, and put out more stuff, more importantly, because 2019 is all about just putting out the most content 
as possible. So you just put up a full studio in your room around your yeah, bed, woke much. up, you got your fruity pebbles on one side and like pretty Ableton much. in your mic in the other, huh? Yeah, no, Logic, yeah, I use Logic. Logic, so okay. I went to Guitar Center, I bought like thousands of dollars worth of equipment that I had no idea how to use. I just recognized it all from all the studio sessions I'd been in. I'm like, I don't know what that interface is, but I've seen it a million times, give me that. I've seen that mic, give me that. And so I just watched like a million hours of YouTube in 2017. And I had friends come over giving me plugins, giving me tips, giving me sounds. And the whole year I just learned how to produce my own music. Okay, so that's all the time that we have, Hollywire. Jake Miller, thanks for coming, bro. Thank what an me. honor. Appreciate it.